Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can Photoshop yourself or any other person into any poster, uh, just following simple techniques. So let's start it. The first step is to find a poster which you want to use it. I just went into Google and I just typed Squid Game poster into Google and went to Google Images and then just choose this one which has a great quality. Okay, and then we are going to into Photoshop and we just need a, a person which we want to Photoshop into this poster. So I already have this and now we I uh, need to use a selection tool. You can, we can use polygonal lasso tool or we can use just a pen tool, which I recommend for this task. And let's just start with um, placing some points around our head and also the neck. So I'm just putting the point here, here, and just, just following the shape of the head. You can use Alt and scroll to zoom out and zoom in. And we're closing our path and we press the right button on the mouse, uh, select the make selection and click OK. And then we can see we've got a selection and then we click this small button here and create the mask. And now we can see we only have a head and let's just see clearly what's going on with creating a new layer and filling it with gray background. And now we can see uh, how our selection and how our head looks. So how to fix this hair? We can use a simple brush uh, with leaves or grass. You can find it uh, on the internet, just a simple uh, brush with leaves. For example, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one, change the color to uh, black and just make it the brush a bit smaller. Let's click the mask and just start painting on the mask with black color. So just let's just press X to reverse the colors and as you can see, I'm adding some details. And we can also use it on the beard too. And now I just apply the mask to our layer. So just press the right button and uh, select apply layer mask. Okay, and just turn off our gray background to see what's going on with our poster and our head. Okay, and just select the person where we want to put our new head on. Uh, so I'm gonna put it right here. So the first, the first step is to change the size. I'm pressing Ctrl and T and just changing the size. Okay, so uh, for the most cases, that would be it. Uh, but in this case, as you can see that we've got the hair from this guy, uh, which is not going well with our uh, new head. So we need to remove this hair from the original poster. So how to do this? Let's just make a copy of our background, Ctrl J and then use a really nice tool, which is a clone stamp tool. First step, we need to sample some colors from here and extend them here. Okay, uh, it's a good thing to turn on our head to see where we want to delete the information from our uh, original poster, so I can see more clearly. So let's just sample from here. I'm just trying to sample colors as the colors or information, whatever you name it, uh, from the places which are gonna suit the image uh, the best. 
OK and you can see that it looks pretty good. And now what we need to do is to make sure uh, that our head is sitting well the jacket that this person has. So uh, we can make a selection. Let's just put our head in a group. So let's just press shift and this icon here. And we can see that our layer is now in a group and we can paint a mask on this group. Uh, so let's just use, for example, now the polygonal lasso tool and just make a selection and clicking here in the mask. And now if I turn uh, our head, we don't see anything. So let's just invert our mask. Let's just fix it a bit. Okay. To make sure that our head is sitting well here. We need to extend a bit the neck. So let's just use the clone stamp tool and the same as before, I'm sampling some colors. And then what we need to do is to make a bit darker. So let's just use the hue saturation and just create the clipping mask. Let's just make the lightness darker. And now let's just invert the mask with Ctrl I and let's just uh, select just the brush with a uh, white color and let's just paint our darkness here just to make it uh, look a bit better. Okay, so what we can do next is we can uh, fix some uh, brightness and contrast. So we just press ad adjustments and I just press on the layer and you can see that it creates automatically the clipping mask. So if I change the brightness, and it's only affecting our head. Okay, so you can see, we can turn off, turn on. We can also paint uh, some lightness on the top of the head, similar to these characters. You can see that on this poster, the lightning is coming from top and also a bit from the bottom. So the, the characters uh, has the light on the hair. So it's really simple. Just use again, hue saturation, make the lightness going up, invert the mask and let's just paint the lightness on top of the head. And you can see clearly it's too much right now. So let's just decrease the opacity to something like 30% and we can turn on, turn off. Okay, so as you can see right now, I followed the same techniques and I just put a few additional people, uh, four people here and one here. One thing we can add uh, to this to this uh, to these heads to make make them blend a bit better with our poster is a bit of grain. If we zoom in, we can see that the original poster has a bit of grain, a bit of noise. So we can do this also. Let's just put. Uh, our heads into a new folder and let's just create a new layer, layer, new layer and just select the soft light here and click this uh, check button here and you can see nothing happens because this layer is on the soft light mode. If we now go to noise and add noise uh, we can see that we can add some noise to the whole image but we want to add only the noise to the head so we create the clipping mask like before and you can see that the noise is only affecting the heads but it's it's too strong right now so let's just decrease it to something about 27 percent and as you can see on the original image we've got some noise and on the heads also so the head blends a bit uh, better with uh, our poster this would be it for today. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if you like it, please uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. And see you soon.